Flex Skills Project. I am dying climbing back up this hill, but my slash is so good going down, it doesn't matter. But what I want to talk to you today about was this idea of bar width. We still see a lot of guys with those super narrow bars, you know, like under 600 mils type thing. So what we're doing now, you're seeing sort of that 660 even as sort of the minimum going up to, you know, some guys are running even bigger than 7. But I think that 660 to sort of 7 is probably a good range. And, you know, if you have a lot of narrow trails where you live, you might be more on the 660 side. Um, but, you know, I get right sort of 680, 685, and I don't really have a lot of problems with it. You hit the odd one, but just remembering, you know, sort of biasing to one side and leaning, because a lot of times those narrow things are going to be on corners, right? So if you get sort of to the nice and wide, like we always do that rule of thumb, you know, it sort of makes those bars effectively shorter. So that's one, one bit. Um, and then the other deal is just that, you know, just getting used to a bit of a, a shrug through. But I think the main thing for people is like, if you if you're scared of hitting your bar, you're probably doing it on a narrow bar anyhow. So what we need to really do is just get that rule of thumb of cornering down, you know, and even when it's straight, sort of using that again, sort of getting really tight to one tree, and then just moving a bit out of the way, and then that way you don't have to even worry about the other one. But I think if you go to that wider bar, you're going to have a lot better stability. Um, thinking about what downhill guys use and stuff. Um, if you want to, you know, maximize those bike skills, which is what we're here for, um, I think you want a wider bar. So give that a try. Let me know how it goes.